everyone, you're welcome to Reviews and Recaps. Today we're going to be doing a review and a recap about Put a Ring on It, Season 3, Episode 1, Dating Other People. Let's get into it. So there are three couples. One is a f- one couple is Afonso and Shay. The other is Otis and Shalana. And the third one is, third couple is Kenneth and Shorty. Okay, so I'm going to take them... W- you know, in turn, and then tell you what I think about them, and essentially what I think the season is likely to look like. Okay, so Alfonso and Shay, they've been dating for over three years. Um, How did they start dating? They seem to have different stories as to how they started dating. Alfonso said she slid in the DM. Shay said she liked one picture. He slid in the DM and sent her a hey, beautiful message, you know, that anyways... It seems like she seems to be, you know, really into him. She said he's fun. He's exciting. He showed her a good time. I personally think Alfonso is probably financially stable. And he shows her a lot of, like, different experiences. And that's one of the things she enjoys about being in a relationship with him. But I guess we'll find out more about that. The The gag is they were engaged and he called it off like what like he took the ring back guys so i'm looking forward to see the messiness that is going to happen this season because i knew that they are going to bring the mess so yes the second couple otis and shalana otis comes across as a very traditional man um you know and otis wants shalana to be a little bit softer i guess he feels like she is not soft enough um, and not submissive enough, if that makes any sense. So I get the vibe that he wants a woman that he can control. And yeah, she is not looking like she is fitting into exactly what he wants regarding that. It's interesting, he said he's always wanted strength in the woman, but that's also the biggest issue that they have. I'm like, hmm. I don't know why people say that. Sometimes I like look at them with side eye. I'm like, okay, do you want strength in the woman because you want to mess up and you want, you know, you want to be able to do whatever you want to do um, and know that she will deal with it? Or do you want strength in a woman because you just think strength to get on with her life and progress her career and do all these things? I don't know. It just seems like one of those words where... We have to be careful in our use of it. And we sort of have to explain a little bit about what we're talking about. But I guess with him, if you guys watch the episode until the end, I'm going to talk a lot about him um, as I continue this recap, but a little bit later. Um, But so he, Shalana basically feels like he's dismissive of her. Otis basically feels like he's traditional she should be more softer and submissive, essentially. And then the third couple is Kenneth and Shorty. My initial reaction and thoughts about them is I feel like Kenneth is too young for Shorty. I don't understand the, well, we don't know the age difference. I don't understand the attraction there. Um, they just look like they're all, they're both in different worlds. They've also been dating for three years Um, she keeps talking about she needs him to step up financially. He just seems like a man that is just taking, has little to no ambitions, not doing too much, um, not financially stable, just like a typical young man still trying to figure out his life, um, but happens to find himself in a relationship with an older person. Um, So I don't know, for me, I just feel like, They are not equally yoked, but I guess we'll see how that plays out. To be honest, I think this episode is a walking red flag. Like, literally all the couples have, like, red flags written all over them. And so I'm very curious to see how it's going to turn out. I don't actually... I think perhaps maybe one couple will probably stay together, but unless... but. I really hope it's not Otis and Shalana that stay together because Otis comes across as abusive. I'll talk about it in a in a moment. But anyways, let's talk about um, what Dr. Nicole was basically telling them. So she was telling the couples that they will 
be going on dates with other people. It would be a test of their relationship. They would decide whether or not they want to go their separate ways or put a ring on it. Okay. So this week, it was the week for the ladies to go on dates. And so basically, everyone dispersed and did their own thing. Brian showed up at Shay's house. So Brian is this whole chocolate man. He showed up at Shay's house to pick her up. Alfonso literally opened the door. And the funniest part of the whole thing was the fact that he kept referring to Brian as little Brian. I'm like, guy, he is tall. He is not little. He's big enough. He's not fat. He's big, you know, muscular enough. So I don't understand why you keep calling him little Brian. Like, I don't understand that. Um, but Brian did not even flinch. He was like, mm -hmm, I don't really care. I'm here to go on a day with your girl. And that's that. Um, and I thought she was funny when she stood next to Brian and asked Alfonso whether they looked good together. I was just like, girl, you are not serious. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Stop trying to get a reaction out of him and stop doing that. Anyway, so Hollywood was paired up with Shorty. Now, you're wondering who is Hollywood. Hollywood is the guy from last season, the funny one. So Hollywood went on a date with Shorty and Hollywood basically like, you know, showed up in usual Hollywood fashion. He came to the house with flowers, which I thought was sweet um and you know shorty already seemed like a fan of hollywood so she was like so excited to see him and her man also seemed um he also seemed like a fan of hollywood and i think they're all they're both from the same place so they have like similar accents going on um i think for me i just love the mutual respect thing with hollywood and kenneth it just seemed like yo i'm coming to take your girl out but you know, mutual respect, guys. Let's just focus. Mutual respect, you know. So that was what that was. So Brian and Shay went to an arts and crafts class. Um, and yeah, it seemed like they got along well. The chemistry was there. They had like good conversation. Shay really seemed like she was really enjoying his company. He was funny. Um, he also has similar values, he's family oriented and she wants that and she doesn't get that from her current man, Alfonso. So it seemed like they had a really, really good time. Um, and then back to Hollywood and Shorty, they went to a pottery class and it was like during the pottery class, there were so many sexual innuendos. It was too funny. Like, oh, you know, shall I raise this for you? Oh, you know, do I need to wet my hands? I'm like, guys, 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 get a room. So there was a lot of sexual innuendos. Um, I think there is definitely some physical attraction towards each other. Um, I think Hollywood from day one, we knew from his ex fiance that he liked short girls. So I'm guessing that's one of the reasons Dr. Nicole paired them up. And also the twang where they're from and all of that. So, yeah, they seem to connect a little bit. She also asked a good question because she was trying to find out what happened with, you know, his ex and why did that, why that didn't work out. He talks about like, you know, just being together with someone for that long does not mean you should continue to stay there if you're no longer happy, which I completely agree with. Now, what I don't know is, is it that Hollywood has grown or is it that he's on this show to cause problems? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Cause I, I don't know, man. That's what I'm figuring. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm not I'm not quite sure. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Um But yeah, and so Sherlana went on a date with Meta. So Meta I think it's Meta. Meta. Yeah, Meta. Meta showed up at the door. Um Shalana's boyfriend, Otis, opened the door. He was not having it. You can just tell he's very jealous. He kept like being just weird. Like I understand it's not a comfortable situation for your girlfriend to be picked up by another man. But at the same time, that is what you signed up for on the show. You must have watched the show. You must have known what you signed up for. But you chose to sign up for the show. No one put a gun to your head and asking you to sign 
up for the show. So now all of a sudden you're acting like a little child now that the data showed up and Meta was nothing but respectful, yet he still just wasn't having it. Anyway, so they basically went on a date, they drove to the place together and then they went on a date and you could see like just from their like trip together they were just having conversations it just seemed like friendly conversations just almost like you met a friend and you're just having like good old conversations with your friend blah blah blah. it seemed to go okay so everyone dispersed went back to their respective houses i'm guessing and then kenneth (laughs) kenneth lost his mind when he found out that shorty took a necklace from hollywood so before shorty left on her dates hollywood decided to buy her a necklace from the pottery class um just so that of course that you know he had, she had something to remember to mark the memory and remember him by something along those lines it was i thought it was a sweet gesture um anyway kenneth was not having it kenneth took the necklace and threw it kenneth was not babe he was so jealous guys i'm not even playing like he just seemed he was pacing left right he was uncomfortable kept talking about at the pottery class did they touch i'm like did did their hands touch i'm like guys a pottery class what did you think happened like of course their hands touched at some point like what is going on here I was just acting very childish. Like, I'm just like, did you guys really not know what the show was about? Or did you just sign up for the show because you wanted to get your bag? I don't know. I'm confused. Like, what is all that about? Anyways, back to Otis. Now, Otis is the one that I have even bigger issues with. Now, with Kenneth, I think Kenneth is childish. Kenneth is immature. He's He needs to grow up, okay? Now, Otis is the one I have issues with. Now, if you guys watched the episode, you would have seen that Otis decided to throw the flowers she got from her date into the bin, honey. She, imagine getting flowers. Like, she loves flowers. Bear that in mind, right? She got the flowers. She was so happy. She thought they were cute took them home and her boyfriend mr otis bin the flowers if it was just about binning the flowers i'll be like okay but it didn't just bin it he was so rude the whole time he was like you know that's a violation of boundaries how are you going to collect flowers from him i'm like they are flowers flowers that are going to eventually die are you serious like why are you getting angry and getting upset because of freaking flowers now so she was hungry of course he was meant to fix her plate he decided that he wasn't going to feed her and that she would have to eat leftovers because she got flowers from meta like that is insane guys that is insane so she was like oh you know trying to find out what the food was and he was like well it's going to be dinner for one And so she ended up having to eat leftovers whilst this guy was eating the food. If that's not petty, I don't know what is. And you don't need to be with a man that is petty like that. Just because he disagrees with something that you did does not mean that he cannot feed you. So he's going to let you starve and eat leftovers because he's petty. That is just unacceptable. The part that got me, guys, how dare he say to her that she needs to go and that she was dirty and she needed to take a shower first? I'm like, yo, bruh, you just ask her to take a shower because she went on a date with another man. What is your problem? This is a show you signed up for. That is rude. That is insinuating that she had sex or inappropriate contact with this man when she did not. Also, it is you come across as abusive. That is very, very, very abusive behavior. The way he was behaving towards her just made me feel like, yo, that man is abusive. He is beyond controlling his abusive. I don't care what nobody tells me. There's nothing anyone can tell me that will not make me feel like he's controlling and abusive, guys. Unless you show me something contrary, but you can't because I saw it for myself, okay? Like, he was eating this food 
guys, if you haven't watched it, you need to watch at least that part of the of the of the show. He was eating the food, drinking wine by himself, whilst this girl was eating leftovers and crying. Here's the thing. Whatever happened, if your baby's out here crying, you need to like stop the pettiness and come and hug your baby and be like, I'm sorry. Like, what the hell? Like, if my boyfriend, I was crying and my boyfriend left me to cry and was being petty and ate food and ignored me and and after being rude and controlling, fam, we won't be together. What sort of behavior is that? That is abusive. That is controlling. That is, you have no regard for your, for the feelings of your partner. It's so problematic. Anyway, so everyone was back at the meeting with Dr. Nicole and Dr. Nicole was asking, you know, what the dates were like. Dr. Nicole was basically asking Shay about the dates and that's where the episode ended. So, Dr. Nicole was asking Shay about the date. Shay was talking about how the date was nice. You know, he's a nice guy. He has a really big family. He's close with his family. And she also talked about how that triggered an insecurity that she has, you know, with the fact that she's not close to Alfonso's family. She basically said that she had only met his mom once in the three years of dating. That is a red flag, guys. If anyone that you're dating... And you've dated for a year. You haven't met. You have not met. You have not met the family. That is problematic. You need to meet. You honestly need to meet the family. You have to. It is important. It is imperative. Now, if you guys were dating as kids, I'll be like, okay, that's fine. Because I've dated guys that have never met my family. However, if I'm dating now as an adult, at some point, you're going to have to meet my family. At some point, you're going to have to have conversation with my family. I'm not going to be with you for three years and not introduce you to any of my family members. That is a huge red flag a huge red flag i don't care what nobody tells me it's a huge red flag she should run and never come back the worst part of this right is that the one time she met his mom in the last three years it wasn't that he initiated it no he left her sitting and waiting for him in the car he took his time to come out she went in and saw his mom and said hello even he still didn't formally say okay this is my babe he did not so dr nicole was trying to inquire to find out what's happening he was very dismissive he was laughing the whole time i'm thinking this thing is making your spouse so upset and you're laughing like it does not matter and then he had the audacity to say well his mom is close to his baby mama So she feels a sense of loyalty to his baby mama. And I'm like, okay, I hear that. But you should draw your boundaries. Your baby mama is different from who you are now dating and who you've been dating for three years. So essentially, if who you've been dating for three years needs to, you need to introduce her to your mom formally. If you're really serious about her, if you really, really want something long term before you put a ring on it you're the one that proposed to her but did not even tell any of your family members that is problematic now the worst part of it is shay was saying in her confessionals that he told her he was going to work trip or work going out for work and she ended up on social media finding out that he was on a family vacation guess with who with his mom with his baby mama And all the members, all the rest of his family. And she was not invited. Babe, he did not even tell... uh, He did not even tell her about the trip. So she knew, had no idea. Imagine finding out on social media. That is a slap in the face. Like, she was so upset, and rightfully so. And eventually, whilst they were talking, because he was just being very dismissive, she walked off. And that's where the episode ended. Now, guys, I can already tell that this season is going to be hot. So I'm really excited to watch it and share some of the tips with you guys. Um, Yeah. So what did you guys think of this episode? 
Was it interesting enough for you? Um, are you going to be tuning in to watch the whole season? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And yes, have a lovely time. I'll see you soon. Bye.